Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to WWK Scale Plastic Models. This is Bill, and I thought I'd uh, bring you another little review of a plane here. Uh, it's that box sitting in front of you there on the camera. And what we got, it's uh, by Hobby Boss, and it's the F6F-3 Hellcat. It says it's an easy assembly authentic kit. It's in uh, 172nd scale. Uh, there's not a whole lot of parts to this kit, the way it's uh, set up to be put together. I'll show you that here in a minute. Let's look and see if there's any kind of box art on this side. A little bit of information on that uh, F6, F3 Hellcat. And over on the side here, looks like it's kit number 80256. It uh, says it's uh, for ages 14 and up. So we'll go ahead and get to it and I'll uh, show the instructions, decals, and uh, all the parts for it. And we'll go to the instructions first. Uh, there's not much here, guys. Now let's open it up. Here we go. There's a parts list to it. And then you got your step one. Which is the, uh, looks like the canopy and the fuselage you mess with. And uh, then the wing section, tail section. Uh, the pilot seat and the interior of the cockpit. Then there's step three. Looks like the tanks and, uh, and there's step four. Looks like you're putting it all together there. The propeller and the motor area and all that stuff. The landing gear and the wheels. And then there's step five. Looks like that's it. All put together. Uh, there's not a whole lot to this, guys. As you can see. Then we'll see what the back looks like here. Here we go. That one side right there, the paint scales, is two different ways you can paint it, I guess. Uh, the VF4 1942. Looks like the colors they're using there is like a medium gray and a white insignia color. And then uh, the VF6, what would it come off the USS Intrepid in 1944? Looks like you got... Uh, Blue gray and a deck blue. So that's some color schemes you can use for it. And that's pretty much that's it on the instructions, guys. On this 172nd scale, the uh, F6F3 Hellcat made by Hobby Boss. So we'll go ahead and lay this over to the side and we'll check the decals out here real quick. See if I can get these opened up on one side. Yep, there we go. And uh, there's the decals for it, guys. You can see the 19 there in white. Not real bad. They seem like they're pretty thin. Not real thick decals. So, that's the decals for it. Let's set them back over to the side here. And then we'll get to what the plane looks like. We'll go ahead and look at the fuselage area first. As you can see, guys, it's kind of a one-piece setup here.
trying to get her in focus. There we go. It's a little bit better. It's got quite a bit of... Uh, I can see the panel lines. Panel lines are reset in. They don't stick up. You can feel them. I don't know how deep they are, but uh, they're probably deep enough. Cockpit area where the canopy will go. That's the fuselage. Yep, cameras fell back out of focus again there. Okay, now let's grab the other piece here. Looks like it's going to be the wing, which is pretty much one piece, guys. And it's actually part of the fuselage on the bottom. So, let's see if I can get this all in here. That's it right there. What she looks like sitting straight forward. And that's the underneath where the landing gear goes up into the wing section. It's different. I'll give it that. I mean, don't look like don't look like it's gonna be real hard to put together. Uh, this piece right here, I can see right there. Some of this is gonna to have to be thinned out. There's a little bit of flashing, some stuff to clean up for this. Probably goes together very well, but uh, yeah, it's not wanting to go together real well where it sets in the little pegs right there. Those need to be trimmed down a little bit. I think you kind of get an idea. So, I won't go up any further until I trim them pegs down. I think that's going to be a fun little kit to put together. It shouldn't take very long. Not a whole lot to it. Let's see, we got two sprues here. And that's it. Here's the first one right here. Looks like the tanks and uh, some of the landing gear parts and wheels. That's a nice looking uh, section there for the motor section. Look at that. The intake. Turn it to the back side here. There's where the pilot sits, the seat to go there, inside the cockpit. Got one more little sprue here, we'll check it out. Some of the tail section there. There's the propeller and those wheel skirts at the bottom. A few other little pieces. I don't see a... Uh... Nope, there's not a pilot for it, so... This one won't have a pilot. Try to get that a little closer, you can see them better. Yeah, it's got quite a bit of detail. And that was it, guys. That's all the parts in this little kit. Not a whole not a whole lot. Uh, let me stick it back here in this uh, case. I'll show you how it came.
Oh, we did forget one thing here. Let me show you the glass for the canopy. This is what it looks like. Nice and clean and clear. Let me stick that back down in here where it belongs. It goes just like that. It just sits in these plastic pieces here, guys. And uh, that's it right there. I stuck her all back down where she belongs. So that's all of it together right there. That's the whole model. Like I said, it's a little bit different the way it's designed, but uh, it's got some decent detail, so I think it'll be fun to put together. And I think that's pretty much it, guys. Let me set this back to the side over here. Uh, that's what she is right there, the F6F3 Hellcat, made by Hobby Boss. It's a 172nd scale, guys. So, it says ages 14 plus. Uh, looks like it's probably going to be pretty easy to go together. Got to do a little bit of work on it to get her together. I can already see that, but it uh, shouldn't take that much. So, that's about it. I don't really have anything else I can say about it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button for me and... Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you'd like to subscribe. So you can hit that for me too. And uh, I guess I'm going to go ahead and say that's the end of this video and sign it off. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you all had a good evening. And uh, God bless each and every one of you. And I'll see you later. So good night, everyone. We'll see you. Thank you.